In early December, a video popped up on Twitter claiming to show the world's first AI-generated news presenters. The new network, named Channel One, which fully launches in 2024, seeks to reimagine the global media landscape. Channel One features a mix of fully generated reporters and so-called digital doubles. They're able to deliver fully personalized news with a host of different personalities, appearances, and even in different languages. Για παράδειγμα, αυτή τη στιγμή μιλάω στα ελληνικά. Όχων πινάπανοντ μου όχων μουλά σα μαϊνίλα, μαρούνον όχων μαξαλιτά ναν Φιλιππίνο. Για να κομ ταμρ πιέσα τηριούμ ιντρνίγκαλ Ιούγι τυρκαμαρτίρκαλ ιντρνάν ναμπουγυρίν. But what is the point of AI generated news? Adam Mosum, the founder of Channel One, says the purpose of the network is to become the number one place for personalized news in the world. Our approach to the news is we have three types of anchors. There's going to be purely generative anchors. So there was it's just something that was imagined by, by the machine. There is a second stage, which is a digital double. So there was a real human being that was you know filmed and scanned. And the third option would just be to use people. If you're going to go interview the president, you're not going to send a robot, you're going to send a reporter. Our, our ultimate experience is going to be an app, uh, both on mobile and on connected TV. If you are going to sit down and watch Netflix, then Netflix has, I mean, who knows, maybe 50,000 titles they can choose from, and they're going to show you a few hundred. When you sit down and you watch the news, you're going to get the same two hours of primetime news for the entire country. So our approach is you're going to see, you know, sports, but your favorite teams. It could be business news, but the stocks that you own or what you're interested in. It could be international news, but the parts of the world you're more concerned with. We're, we're aiming to have the largest cache of news on the planet, ultimately. One of the huge benefits of AI native news is the ability to process and understand vast quantities of information within seconds, something which can take days for a traditional newsroom to complete. Here is an entirely AI-generated reporter demonstrating by analyzing the online reaction to Tesla's new Cybertruck. I quickly read the most recent 30,000 tweets posted to X about the Cybertruck. And based on the emojis people have been using, sentiment on the vehicle is indeed very mixed. Will Tesla revolutionize the truck market, or will the Cybertruck remain a niche player? Like the Cybertruck, reaction to Channel One's pilot episode has been unsurprisingly mixed. There was maybe you know a handful of views in the beginning, and quickly it was out of control. We saw Elon popping in there as a comment. <laughs> We're like, oh boy, it's 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 getting places. But there's there's multiple camps, right? So there are people on the consumer side who are just like, hell no. And then there's a group of people, really the technologists, that are excited. And then there's a, a few comments where they actually understand it. And as far as the actual journalists go, we're out there saying we want to work with as many journalists as possible. The initial reaction is correct, and it's all over the map. We're doing our best both with responsible AI and responsible journalism, and there's an opportunity to create something that's very interesting. There are, however, serious ethical issues surrounding the new platform. How will Channel One uphold both ethical journalism and ethical use of artificial intelligence? And how can its audience trust the stories it creates? Channel One will use three types of news gathering techniques. You have to have the right controls in place to ensure that there is no extensive bias. We will always tell the audience when something has been generated by AI and then they point it and there's a little logo on the screen. Because today, the images that were being generated, you're like, yeah, that's AI. But again, let's talk about in six months, let's talk about in a year. So there's three buckets of content. The first bucket is going to be licensing content. The second bucket is going to be news that we actually create. Even if you think about a business story, the public companies have to file SEC reports, and they're very meaty. They could be 60-page, 80-page PDFs. We can crack through one of those in a minute, whereas a newsroom would have to digest, read, understand, reference, and we can do that. And then the third group, which I think I'm probably most excited about, is going to be the independent journalists worldwide. The point of this is not to recreate people with AI. And if you look at what we delivered already, that's the worst it's ever going to be. It's only going to get better from here on out.